Hey guys, it's Lizzie, and today I'm doing another doll review. Hold on, the box is way back here. Why is it so far? Okay, I got it. And um, a lot of you actually think I'm getting Shinku. Um, this isn't Shinku. <laughs> So I never specified which pull-up I was getting, and I told you guys I like to get the Rose and Maidens in order. But this month, my mom said, my mom was like, Oh, Shinku, 175 that's too much. Why don't you just get the cheaper one? So I actually agree with her. Hinachigo was a much better deal, and she was the last one in stock on the website I got her on. And I only paid about $140 for her, so that's a pretty good price. Cause, excuse me. Because, actually, why did I say excuse me? Like I just said a weird throat thing. What am I talking about? Anyways, on eBay, this doll sells for a lot, and I got a pretty good deal on this website called... What was it called? <laughs> it was some weird Japanese website, so... Okay, um, this is what she looks like in the box. She's got tons of curls. You can see her car, <laughs> and I love the pink of her box. I don't think I've ever had a pull-up with a pink box, other than Saki. <laughs> There's little roses and bows everywhere. It had the Rose and Maiden logo up there. And down here, um, these two symbols mean Hinachigo. And that's her name, Hinachigo. Which translated Hinachigo actually means little strawberry. Which is adorable. I love Hinachigo. She is the sixth doll. And she was thought to be the final. But um, there's actually a seventh, which is Karakishu. And Berasusho is Karakishu's imposter. So she has all the usual warnings. Um, keep the doll away from fire. Yeah. It also has the authenticity sticker. It says Groove Ink. It's got some more stuff down here. Peach Pit, which is the company that makes pull up. She is P140. It's also got this weird little piggy, panda, monkey. <laughs> so, this doll actually arrived in the morning. And I know because my mom had to take me to the dentist and I got my braces tightened, but. Now I'm back home, and I finally get to unbox her, because I've been thinking about her all day, like, man, I want to get home and unbox Hinachigo. So let's do it. This packaging is so simple. Like, just one little thing around the neck, just cut these things. If you saw my other reviews with Sose Saki and Suse Saki, then you know there was a ridiculous amount of these little tie things. My fingers were, like, raw after that, and now... This is just simple. I love it. Here is Hinachigo unboxed, and I could not get... I could not, for the life of me, get the, tie this bow onto her head. It kept falling off and messing up her bangs, which is why they look so terrible. And, yeah, this is a mess. <laughs> so, her hair looks great. This curl just needs to learn its place and stay down. Yeah. I'm just gonna mess with it a little more. Some places. So, Hinachiko's hair looks uh, nothing like this. I don't know why they've started lying about the hair in the promotion pictures, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, her eye mechanisms work perfectly. This bow is going to fall off her head. And um, yeah, everything works. Her face up is very cute. She's got some green eyes, some pink. I despise that bow. Some yellow eyebrows to match her hair. Her lips are shaped are kind of like pasteled in and sealed on, it looks like. I love her eyes. The green is my favorite part. And it actually suits her because she's like a little strawberry. That's what her name means in some other language. So she has two darker pink laced up parts, sections going down from here. She's got this little red bow. And this part feels like a pillowcase. Like, it feels really soft. It's kind of like a satinish material. It's really nice. Like, her dress looks like something I'd want to wear to sleep. Like, it looks so comfy. It feels comfy, too. I'm not sure what this material is. Please do not tell me in the comments. Because normally when I don't know what something is, I get like 500 comments telling me what it is. And it's really repetitive. I'd rather know your opinions on the video and the doll herself. She has a white blouse looking thing similar to so similar to So Seisuke and Sugindo and probably Shinku too because they're kind of like Victorian dolls. And her shoes I did have to put on myself. They are red lace-ups, kind of like ballet flats. 
and she has the white stockings on underneath similar to most other Rosen Maidens, except for Suginto and Karakishu because they don't wear those. But pretty much the rest of them do. So Hinachigo is really cute. I love her. She's literally one of my favorite characters on the show, but she always dies. She died in Trollmen because in Trollmen, the thing was they lost her spring. No, it wasn't her spring. It was her ring. She still has the spring or else she couldn't be awakened. They lost her ring and, well, without a ring, she can't have a medium. And without a medium, she can't move. So she died. And then in Zurich Spulen, which is the line that this doll is from, the Zurich Spulen 2013 Rosen Maiden version, Krakishu killed her. <laughs> the blondes killed the blonde killed the other blonde. <laughs> but it's okay because Hinachigo uh is always dead. It's really sad. But you can always just go back and watch the other episodes in which she is alive. I believe her artificial spirit is named Barry Bell or something cute like that. Um, I'll have to look up her if you like so. But what I hate is that I accidentally bent her card. The cards are usually one of my favorite parts about the Rosen Maidens. And I bent hers. So I will be right back once I find the translation. Her feel like so reads, If along with June, it's fun anywhere. Feel like so. Can you even English? Well, technically not. You're Japanese. Also, that was not my Hinachigo voice. Um, I'm trying to think of how Hino sound. Hino. Hina sounds. Um, can I physically make my voice go that high? I, I don't know. I'm going to try. <clears throat> I can't think of anything to say as her. Um, I'll just say her feel like so. If along with June, it's fun anywhere. Feel like so. That sounded a bit too much like my Kanadia voice. I haven't watched the anime in a while, so I'm gonna have to go watch an episode with Hinachigo. <laughs> Not now, of course. Now I'm gonna work on getting this stupid bow to stay on her head. I finally did it. I finally tied the thing around the back. See, if you look underneath the curls, you can see that there's a little bow. I finally did it. I'm so proud of myself. She looks so cute. Oh my god, she looks just like in the anime. I'm trying to mess with her hair a little. So in the anime, her bangs aren't split like this, but since she's been in the package for like two years, it's kind of held that way. It's kind of stuck. Like see in the picture, she's got her bangs kind of spread evenly. You can see her cute little eyebrows, but nope, not here. That is not the case. So, I think this about wraps up my review of Hinachigo. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one.